Hello, my name is uh, Peder Narbo. I am the founder and owner of Bulk Infrastructure. We are a Norwegian private company. We are creating sustainable digital infrastructure. We focus on four criteria. It needs to be sustainable, it needs to be infrastructure, it needs to also scale internationally, and it needs to be a project relating to the Nordics, because that's where we have our home advantage. We are very much a Norwegian and Nordic developer. So I'm very grateful to be here to present to you a new subsea cable project, which is called the Leif Eriksson subsea cable. The subsea cable will be a Northern Atlantic cable connecting Atlantic Canada with Norway and the Nordics. So as a developer, we have built five data centers, uh, one in Oslo called the Oslo Internet Exchange and uh, one in uh, Esbjerg in Denmark uh, called the DK01. And then we have the largest project we have is N01 campus in Norway, in Southern Norway. And this campus is based on uh, a large piece of land, 800 acres or three kilometers, square kilometers and uh, it is next to a 3.6 gigawatt substation with all renewable energy. The Life Eriksson cable will not be our first cable. We have already uh, 10,000 kilometers of cable in the sea already and they are called something starting with Hav, which is the Scandinavian and Nordic name for ocean. So we have the Hav Hingston connecting Denmark, UK and Ireland. We have the Hav Seal uh, connecting Norway and Denmark. And more famously, we have the Hav Frua cable connecting United States with Ireland, Norway and Denmark. There is a purpose why we build these subsea cables. We want to unlock large abundance of renewable energy. We have a lot of renewable energy in the Nordics and especially in Norway. And in the southern Norway we have our largest campus which is next to the biggest substation in Europe for renewable energy. And we want to connect that to other similar sources on the Canadian side which is then in the area of Labrador and Quebec. So the Nordic region and Canada, they have a lot of things common. We have large abundance of renewable energy, but we also have very cold weather. And being in the cold north is very efficient if you want to cool down data centers. So in these regions, we can utilize free air cooling, which is cheap and also very efficient. So the subsea cable, Life Ericsson, will go from hydropower to hydropower. It will be fed by hydropower as well, so it will be a 100% renewable energy powered cable system, which I think will be the first one to travel intercontinentally. So the Life Ericsson cable will travel from southern Norway, where we have the N01 campus, the large campus with data center opportunities, to Atlantic Canada and it will travel on a 4,100 kilometer stretch. So not only do we have cold and efficient climate, but we also have the continents very close to each other as you travel further north. So we think that there will be attractiveness to create new routes to pick up renewable energy sources to feed data centers en route between major markets. The subsea cable will land in Labrador region. It will go into Goose Bay, to Happy Valley Goose Bay, and then we hope to continue alongside the Trans-Labrador Highway. So traveling alongside the Trans-Labrador Highway will not be a short stretch, it will be more than 1000 kilometers. So that also needs skilled local partners to enable that to happen. And I know that we have a big group of people in Canada that would like to join in and see this happening. 
also we will land into the areas of Quebec City and down to Montreal and that's where we will find a meet up with other data center initiatives on the American North American side that are traveling north north to utilize the same capabilities you find on the European side when you travel into the Northeast so when will this cable be ready well we hope it will be in the year 2024 but these places up north they're also in rough environment during winter time for instance we have very large storms it's not easy to build cables in these waters and also we need to consider the icebergs as they travel alongside the coast of Canada but there are ways to mitigate so that the risk of having the cable hit by a iceberg is minimum so this will be a normal cable once it's laid and we think that we are the right people together with the usual uh, vendors in the market to create this opportunity we'll build the subsea and together with uh, the local communities we'll build the terrestrial to connect the world's biggest renewable energy resources and utilize that for clean renewable data centers and digital infrastructure so the life Ericsson cable will create a ring structure with a half through cable it will give short latency between two continents from Europe to North America it will be from a NATO member state to another NATO member state it will go from a region of political and economic stability to another although the seas are rough and uh, you'll meet Vikings along the way you'll be a safe and secure cable so in bulk we are racing to bring sustainable infrastructure to a global audience if you want to join the race please make sure you find us it is sustainable <laughs>